Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as the Khmer. Now, I was having a little bit of an examination of the uh, early empire. We are about to trigger that bonus, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to switch here to shrines, because we're going to get um, settler bonus production here pretty soon. So I'm going to switch to the shrine and get that as soon as possible, because we definitely want to start earning some of these great profit points for ourselves. Uh really in a big way and i think delaying the settler by eight turns is not the end of the world okay we'll lock that in for now we will want to switch that later we've almost got a pantheon the man who has grit enough to bring about the or the irrigate there's irrigation, so if we get a builder, we can do something with it. How much is it for a builder? Like it's, so it's a question of, do we want to purchase one of these buildings or a builder? I think builder is the right choice here. Okay. I think it's time we unlocked some units. We're going to need encampments to defend ourselves. So I'm going to pick up ancient walls now, um, because pretty much immediately after this holy site, this city's going to build ancient walls to defend itself. Like a lot of my cities are gonna just just get ancient walls to protect, um, protect against the AI. Har Goddess of Harvest. That was like the Civ Four religion sound, was it not? That's what that sounded like. Okay, we're moving along. I have this warrior here. I would love to do more scouting, but just surviving here is my big concern. So I'm tempted to settle here. So that I can put an encampment somewhere here and then provide myself a defensive line. And then I would maybe put another city somewhere over here. There or something. And then that would provide me two really good blocker cities to protect against them. Because they are probably looking to forward settle me at this point. Which is something I'm really not okay with. Alright, heal up next turn. Okay, so ideally when you're playing the Khmer, ideally you want to take the um, plus one amenity if they have a holy site adjacent to a river. Unfortunately, we're just not in a position to do that. So we're instead going to be... Um, purchase that second great barrier tile and work it. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to pick something else. So let's have a look. Maybe a plantation buff, maybe a generic buff. Um, so normally I would take River Goddess, but I think I'm going to take Divine Spark here. Just so I can get my religion that little bit quicker on this higher difficulty. So there's the shrine finished, and that's almost syncs up with early empire. So let's get our hands on a builder here in a few turns once we purchase. So I'd like to get the trader. I'd also like to get a trader to trade with Geneva. I think I'm going to go for the settlers though. They need to start coming out in a big way. We've got a lot of cities to settle. Looks like another city was just settled over here. Yep. So it's closing up our um, closing up our options. Okay, so there's that. We can now build walls. Let's go ahead and pick up encampments. Next turn. It was luxuries like air. Or the Empire, production towards settlers. Boom. That's going to slow down our holy site here, sadly. Uh, which is going to trigger me to change what I'm doing, because I want this holy site actually reasonably quick. So that I can get a great, uh, great profit in a reasonable amount of time. We just got early empire, so it makes sense to go for political philosophy. It's like a standard pathway, you know. Plus one amenity in city with an aqueduct. That is something we're going to want to build uh, fairly early. So I'm thinking we'll pick up our aqueducts pretty soon. Might put it there. Or on the rice. Uh, we'll see what we do. But in any case, we are going to want aqueducts in our empire. Hello, Chin. Hello, 
It's China, he's probably going to take a lot of the wonders, at least the early game ones. Five turns until a settler. Let's purchase ourselves a builder. We have a lot of tiles we want to improve. Did we get irrigation? We did, so we can improve both these um, cocos and the uh, thingy. Open border sounds like a good deal to me. Keep you nice and happy. Next turn. Let's get these online. There we go. Plus two. Now we have amenities. We're going to be hitting our growth limit here, though. But well, once we get this second copy here in, we should be fine. And plus our population is about to grow. There's the encampment. Okay, so she decided to settle over here. That kind of fairly as expected. I'm going to want to settle in here somewhere. Particularly to grab this um, marble right there. Holy site there. So let's get a defensive settlement going. First defensive settle is going to go on this tile. Let's just make sure we're not getting outstripped when it comes to free people. Nope. We're doing fine. Another settler. That's like my biggest my biggest advice for anyone playing Didi is play defensively and get your settlers out quick. Um, that's like the biggest thing I see. I think like most people when they when they're struggling to play the game at like higher difficulties or just in general is they're a not building enough cities and b building their cities too far apart. Build a lot of cities pretty damn close together is how you should do it in my opinion. Next turn. But yeah, these need to be defensive cities because it looks like there's already a war going on. All right, there's a plantation. And then I'll put a farm there. So I'm being denounced by Australia. That's fine. Not too, not, not, not too worried about it. Now, unfortunately, in this particular city, we have to pretty much immediately go for ancient walls. Drop a farm there. That'll give us craftsmanship. Don't want either of those things. My people will settle where they want. My people will settle where they want. Okay, three turns until this holy site is done, which should mean our religion gets going pretty quick. So I'm being denounced. A lot of the AI doesn't like me right now, but that's okay. They're allowed not like me. Don't reinvent the wheel. Okay, we just got the wheel that leads to engineering, which is the aqueduct that we want to get. Nice promotion on an archer. Your reputation is forever tarnished. That's fine. You're allowed to tarnish my reputation if that's how you feel. Please don't pillage that. 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 Okay. Please don't pillage that. No. Don't pillage that. That's the worst thing you could pillage. Okay. Holy site's done in here. We need ancient walls to defend ourselves. Make sure that city doesn't get any ideas. He's spreading his religion to me. Oh my f fucking god. Pillaged my shrine. That's incredibly frustrating. How many religions are left? There's two religions left, okay.
Wow. Just wow. I have, I have no words. <laughs> Just swooped in, pillaged my district. He's gonna run away now and get away. Oh, and he did the farm? Wow. Repair the holy site. It's critical. Go here. Defensive city. Oh, I think I just got culture bombed by Australia. I'm gonna put a holy site there. Settle this. Oh, if I buy these two tiles, I could trap a settler. Okay. Ancient walls. I don't know why you would ever work that. It's definitely not going to help you. Please don't pillage that. Oh god, I'm getting dumpstered by a horseman. Purchase a builder to repair. He's spreading his religion to me. That's okay. We can we can fit we can sort out a lot of these problems um pretty quick and easily. Repair. This is why I hate building farms, because they just provide um ways for annoying units to heal inside your territory. Okay. What the hell? Uh, nope. Normal people believe is he the Susan of that? If it ain't broke, oh, fuck, fix it. he is. This is definitely not where you want to settle, John. I should have trapped it. It was a mistake that I didn't. See if we can go stand on the tile that he wants to settle on. See if we can predict which tile it is. Okay, there's engineering. We're going to need some other stuff here. Uh, currency is a good one. For trade routes. Three turns. I need to delay him by three turns to get my settler over there. Okay. Nice one, we blocked him. We confused him, we blocked him. How are we doing? Okay, we're... I think we're guaranteed our religion here now. Obviously not in like the most ideal fashion, but... We're gonna get iron working. Two turns until that settler. Let's go again. About to get political philosophy. It's all starting to come together. Repair the holy site next turn. I would love to get more districts. Would love to build my aqueduct. Divide and rule. Okay, here's political philosophy. Let's pick up uh, classical democracy. Monuments yield extra culture and build faster. We want um, charismatic leader. And we want plus one production in all cities. We're still producing settlers, so this is all good. So I think we'd made the decision to settle right there. Because that gives me the option to get the marble. Um, yeah, really not doing so amazingly. Let's go for theology now. Prepare the shrine. Do that. There's iron working. Let's actually place the aqueduct right there. Would have liked to chop that forest, but hey. Make a difference. If people settle too close, you should consider settling elsewhere. If people will settle where they please. People will settle where they please. Settle here. Grab another copy of that cocoa. Buy that tile. Put a holy site on that tile. 
but we don't need that yet. Right now, you need to work on your granary. Let's get the aqueduct up. Oh, that was going to be two turns. Let's get our monuments up. It's going to give us more culture. No. Settlers. I've got the settler policy and I need to make settlers right now. Okay, so here's a mine. Let's make sure we're working good tiles. We're definitely working good tiles. Move here. I'm going to chop this forest. I want to chop out some settlers here. Uh, not try to complete with the Glorious Empire of Chin. Sure thing. I won't. Four turns off that settler. That's a reasonable amount. And then I'll put a farm there as a closing move. Because that'll be one, two, three, four. That'll be an extra two housing. Okay, nice one. We almost got walls in my border cities. We got our religion finally. Found the religion. Okay, so as the Khmer, there's a couple things that we want to do as the Khmer. Uh, I believe, I can't remember if it's it Hinduism. I'm pretty sure it's Hinduism. It's the Khmer religion. We want reliquaries. Then we want monastic isolation so that we can get our missionaries killed. These two are very important to us. And then we need to... My god, that's loud. <laughs> uh, then we need to build our prasat temple building and recruit some missionaries to go get them killed by other religions. So it's time for me to start settling up here. I need more information over there. I need to purchase a settler in Angkor Thom. Uh, sorry, not a settler, a um, trader. Okay, drop a farm there. Would be good to get machinery to be able to defend ourselves. The other things that are good for religious games are generally speaking, yeah, machinery. Just for crossbowmen. Crossbowmen are just nice to be able to defend um, against wars. Hello, builder. Hello, little guy. Uh, I think I want that to be mutual. Sure, sounds good to me. So open borders with her can make things a little simpler. The good news is my religion is over here. But I don't think she's adjacent to anyone else's religion, so mine should spread to her passively pretty easily. Oh, I missed the hover over details from Secretact's UI adjustments. There's land up here to settle as well. Go ahead and grab that builder. It's a free builder charge. Ancient walls completed, so I'm feeling pretty safe over here, and now I can finally get started on things like builders. To improve this territory. Well, first we're going to get a granary because we're growth locked. Mm. Builder to get a production. We need to get a production up so we can start growing these cities and producing temples and stuff. I have an envoy, but I don't need to use it. Send the trade route, that's something I can do. Celestial navigation, probably not going to happen. The Lord made us all out of so there's swordsman. Definitely want to try and culture bomb him back for more territory. But this city also needs a, a granary here to grow. Now uh, really it needs a builder for production first. Go down here and build that mine. Uh, so I'm thinking machinery into apprenticeship for production. Gives me some options with regards to, like, these lumber mills. People are lazy and unworthy. Okay. Sure thing. Yep, there's good territory up here for me that I can snatch. Because I'm still settling cities. 
you want to basically settle until you have no room to settle left um, on deity. If you don't do that, you will find yourself in trouble. So there's a lot of religious pressure in my capital here. Which is not ideal. In fact, it's the opposite of ideal. It's the exact worst scenario that we, we don't want. Okay. That's fine. You're allowed to be angry. Would make a promise to him. Uh, right. What is our next move here? Commercial hub for the trade route capacity, but I think I'm going to grab the aqueduct because I have benefits for it. Take me eight turns, but it will give me a lot in terms of my empire. I think I'm going to culture bomb here, I think, and then try to put an encamp... Ooh. Mahabodhi Temple. So settlement-wise, I'm thinking a settlement here, a settlement here, and a settlement here. So here... I just want the aqueduct up, if I can get it, because I'd get benefits for it. Which is, you know, seems like a, I don't know, seems like a pretty reasonable reason to want to get an aqueduct. You get bonuses, so I want an aqueduct. My aqueducts are better, therefore I want an aqueduct. Ideally, I would have the builder card slotted in now, so when I get the option to do that, I will put it in, because that would have shaved a lot of turns off this. I mean, it depends. How expensive is it to switch right now? It's actually quite cheap. I think it is worth it, because I am building a lot of builders. So let me go into here. Unlock. Take away the plus one production. I think 30% production towards builders is worth more to my empire right now. Did you not update? I guess maybe 30% was not a lot. Lock in that mine. Okay, we have a lot of land to settle, actually. Which is really, really good for um, for religious games because, generally speaking, holy sites are a kind of district that are you know the more you have, way, way, way better. So let's have a look at theologian. We're getting a decent amount of theologian points, but not a huge amount. People, some people are going for religions. I really hope Scythia doesn't get it. I hope China is the one that gets it because if I can keep Scythia locked off and get just just getting my religion, that'll be. Fantastic. Because they are slowly picking up my pressure here. So, builders, because I have the policy slotted in. Builders are key early game, I feel, to getting your empire rolling. So, yeah, there's a lot of territory up here for me to settle that the AI almost certainly won't. So I might settle to block. So I want to settle there and there as well. I'll have to kind of make decisions about this. I'm kind of delaying my settlers a little bit, which is super not ideal. In fact, my settlers are already really slow. Really, I should have had... Really, I should have all my cities settled by turn 100. So if I'm still doing other things by turn 100 and I've not, not settled all my cities, then I'm, I'm messing up, basically. And I've not settled correctly, or I had bad luck and had bad land and stuff like that. Which I think is somewhat true. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of housing potential in here, which is good. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. So let's have a look. Court eunuchs, literary tradition. None of these really appeal to me. Oh, I don't even... I haven't even built my monuments, actually. Monuments. I had that card slotted in. I was basically wasting that slot for a very long time. Because I forgot to get my monuments. It happens. There's a new, there's a new, there's new mechanics here. I'm struggling a little. 
Struggling. Struggling. Uh, let's go build a plantation here. Monument. Monument. So we're doing a wave of monuments now. The city could use a farm so that I could grow a little bit. Could grow in eight turns instead of whatever 16 it was. Which is, you know, nice. Pretty good. We're going to want a uh, granary in here and then get the holy side up. Okay, there's Crossbowman. I'm going to pull you back now to be able to upgrade you. Let's purchase ourselves a trader. Maybe should have bought that a while ago. I'm going to purchase a builder in here. Oh, I don't have enough. Never mind. I want to purchase a builder in there, though. Okay, we have plus one build charge. Not much else we can do over here. Let's get the city of mine so that it can be improved a bit quicker. Okay, we have walls up. I need a unit that's a little bit stronger than that. Well, that should actually happen once I get this archer upgraded, so that'll be okay. Let's get your holy site placed. I want a culture bomb against him if I can. Oh, damn it. He placed a, uh, he placed a district there. Well, that makes this complicated because I'm only going to culture bomb this tile, which is fine. Maybe I should have culture bombed the whales. Eh, it'll be fine. Yeah, first granary. Did you get your monument? No, get your monument. Would love to find a religious city-state right now. Go and prove that tile. You're going to trade with Geneva. Golden science is really nice. We actually have a really good gold income right now. How is our religion spreading over here? It is not spreading. It's not ideal. Build another mine. Okay, we're getting the start of okay production in here. Really what needs to happen is get apprenticeship up and that'll give our production boost a big, big swing. We've got plenty of envoys here. I could probably become suzerain, but I'm not going to. I can't, I can't actually embark. It kind of sucks. Let's get that deer online. It's a good deer tile. Production is a big problem for me right now in my empire. Um, like big, 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 big problem. Granary to grow. Would love to be getting my holy sites, but I need to get the basics. Ah, see? This is the sort of shit I was hoping against. See, and the city doesn't have nearly good enough production to actually produce a unit right now. A monument. Put a mine there. It'll give that city something to work. I just feel like religious games are really, really weak. Press that. I don't have enough gold for that, but I will. Great scientist points. Plus one amenities in all cities with a theater square. Plus five great profit points for killing. Ooh, that's actually really interesting. Plus one faith for each of your convoys. Universities yield plus four faith. Definitely want to go for reformed church here. Let's make our way to theocracy. Oh my god, it's raining like crazy outside right now. My whole house just got colder. Okay, now get your granary. You don't need ancient walls because you're in a relatively safe position. Instead, you need to get your holy side up. Get that camp. Lock that in. Well, builder would be better, I think. Drop a mine there. We'll go to the next turn. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go to we're probably gonna have to go to war. When do we unlock Domery's? Military engineering. It's gonna be when it happens when we get there. Alright, so you're working the mine. These two mines improved. Next turn, let's keep moving along. This game is not going ideally, but it's doing okay. Oh, this is annoying. See, he's building districts. Um, that's going to block my culture bombs. The true, the true, the true power of Indonesia is in the sort of late game. That if they can get to it pretty reasonably quick. So I need to get this press out up, but I want to purchase it. Got a couple turns to go. So I'm going to call that an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.